adding graphics to your videos like transitions or text on the screen to point out points that you are making in the video can immediately up the production quality of your video, even if you were shooting on your iPhone. I am a big fan of adding graphics to my videos and it is part of my go-to strategy for this YouTube channel is to have one go-to package that I use on repeat. This speeds up my editing time, makes my videos more engaging to watch, and makes them easier to film. One of the biggest comments that I get on this channel is, how do you create these graphics? Do, can you just send me the file that you use to create these graphics? And previously, I did not have that option. I created my graphics package, I exported them, and that's what I used. But now I have put together a transition package that you can finally just download, plug in your brand colors or send it to an outsourcer to do this, plug in your brand colors and then you can have a go-to package that you can use moving forward. So I wanna walk you through how to use this package so that you can decide if it's worth getting for yourself. And I have linked to where to buy this in the description below as well. So let's hop on the computer and let me show you this. So when you download the package, it's gonna come through as a zip file and all you have to do is double click it in order to open this up. Now, the first thing that you're going to realize is that this is a Premiere Pro template. So you do have to have Premiere Pro in order to use this template. But as I previously mentioned, you could just hire someone on Fiverr to go in and plug in your brand colors if you don't have Premiere Pro. And then they're going to export a transparent file that you can use in, in any editing software. So if you have Premiere, do it, follow along. If you don't, send someone this video and have an outsourcer do it. So when you have this open, you're just going to double click and open this Premiere Pro project. When you open Premiere Pro, you might get this dialog box depending on if the latest you have the latest version of Premiere Pro or not because this was made on an older template, so that's totally fine, or an older version of Premiere Pro, all you have to do is just go ahead and say, yeah, that looks good, click OK, and it will convert the project to be the latest version of Premiere Pro. Then you are going to have this dialog box pop up, which is going to tell you to link media. At first, this can be really scary, and it can seem like you don't have all of the files, but rest assured, you do. So all you have to do is click locate, and go to find wherever those files are living. So you just find that template folder or your folder that you unzipped, you go to the O2 footage folder and you can just go ahead and click on uh, one of the folders to see where that one file is. So if you click this down here, this checkbox, it's going to tell you, it's gonna naturally find that one. You can just go ahead and click okay and then just continue doing this until you've found all of the files. So just click through the different packages to see where that one shows up. Click OK. You don't actually have to do every single file. What it's going to do is you just have to point Premiere Pro into all of the different folders and it will naturally connect all of the files on its own. So this might take a second, but once you have it done, it's rather simple and you can open it up and plug in your colors. But don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through it. Once all the files have been connected, you can see that I have put the packages into different sequences. So you can just go ahead and watch them to see which ones you like the most, or you can tell your outsourcer which one you like the most and they can just plug your colors into that one, or you can do all of them and use them in various places within your brand. Now I'm not gonna walk through plugging in your brand colors, but trust me, it's really, really easy. It's just a matter of clicking and plugging in your brand colors. And I have a step-by-step -step instruction video that goes along with this one to show you how to use this graphics package so that you do not get lost. So if you are interested in getting that, then I will link to it in the description below. If this video was helpful, be sure to click like, drop a comment below letting me know your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next video.